Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off this video by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahusha Bahashim Rakakudash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. In grace and peace to you, elect around the four winds, believing and pushing this truth in all sincerity. May the blessing of election be upon your houses. This is your fellow servant, Rokaya, from the GMS Orlando camp. And uh, tonight I wanted to touch on this interview uh, that I'm catching right now on my little lunch break or whatnot <clears throat> between uh, Math Hoffa and D. Rose. And uh, they make a couple of interesting points that I want to touch on tonight. You know, Lord willing, this is edifying unto you elect. All right, and one of the points that they touch on in this interview is the importance of our people understanding their history. All right, their true history in order to find out their purpose in the earth. All right, which is a sentiment that's been being made by the Lord's prophets, starting from the elders, apostles of Great Millstone on down for many years now. For many years now, the Lord's prophets have been preaching of the importance of you people, you Israelites, are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, understanding your true heritage, understanding your true history, in order to find out your purpose. Because the history that's been given to our people, all right, is that of a falsehood. All right, which it's led our people to have no sense of purpose, you know, no belonging in this earth, and they just go out here and crash out, you know, on a straight dummy mission. But when you really understand, you know, who we are, our heritage, the men that we descend from, the power that we serve, there's a sense of purpose and belonging that comes with that that's unmatched, and you begin to move and act and 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 speak in a kingly manner you know in a priestly manner like our nation was 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 built to be from the beginning <clears throat> you know the history that our people believe that we come from is just slavery you know we was just over there in the land of Africa jungle bunnies you know uh, bones in our noses jumping around fires and, and the so called white man came and took us took us into slavery, brought us over to America, gave us a better life, and, and gave us jobs. You know, now we're in a better case. Anything you give Jake nowadays is, is better than what they think we come from. When in reality, we come from the richest society, the richest nation on earth. There is no other nation like our nation. When King Solomon was in rule for just those 40 years, all nations were in awe. Every single one of them. From the wisdom that proceeded out of our nation out of our king and that same sentiment is coming back into the earth all right that same reverence is coming back into the earth starting when Yahweh returns all right and he uplifts all right himself and his elect all right that governing body at 144,000 you know but uh without further ado you know um we're going to play this video uh, and uh, we'll grab a couple of precepts. Lord, when this is edifying unto you, elect. All right, let's get it. This club I'm starting up, bro. Wow. Like, no, nah, I'll get you one. But this, like, getting kids to, like, critically think, bro. Like, the only time kids critically think now is when they about to cause harm on a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Or call it, but seriously, about to cause harm, though. You know what I mean? Thinking that they gonna get away with some shit. In reality, you get caught. And you using that energy in the wrong way. Think before you pull that trigger. Think before you go mask up and get out that car. Think about your family. The only reason they don't feel like they, they don't care is because they feel like they ain't a part of shit. But you have a family or... If you and, and that's <clears throat> been the problem within the Israelite community for generations. You know, our people walk around here with that I don't give a fuck attitude and that, that crash out mentality because they don't believe that they belong to anything. You know, our people have no sense of belonging. They have no purpose, really. That's why when you walk past a group of Jakes and you look in their eyes, you know, you see emptiness. It's, it's empty. Or you walk past a group of Jakes and, and all you see in their eyes is envy or hate. Jealousies because they don't have any purpose They don't have any sense of belonging And the sense of purpose That's been been uh, 
given to our people. You know, the, the, the doctrine has been being preached to our people by the devil, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. All it is that our purpose comes from material things. Our, our purpose comes from fulfilling the lust of the flesh. You know, our purpose comes from being a demon amongst our own neighbors. That's what your purpose is, to entertain, <clears throat> to cook, to clean, to serve. That's the purpose that's been given our people here in these, here in these, here in these latter generations, man. And that's why the scripture is saying uh, this in uh, Surat or Ecclesiastes. The uh, tenth chapter in the sixth verse it says, "Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place." All right, and the devil is, is lifted up folly. All right, to be something that's dignified here in, in in the society, chiefly amongst the communities of you Israelites, man. Folly is set in great dignity. It says, "And the rich sit in low place." And who are the rich? The true rich are us. The Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and American Indians, because we have the richest heritage. We have the richest heritage. The richest inher inheritance. The richest culture. The richest language. Everything about our nation is the richest. <laughs> when you really get into it. But the rich right now are sitting in low place. Because one, they don't know their history. Two, they don't know their purpose. And three, they don't have any sense of belonging. Along with many other things, you know, but we're just touching on those three today in this in, in tonight's lesson. It says, I've seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Alright, and these these servants that are upon horses, all right, the chief servants that the sheep the chief servant that's upon the horse right now is Esau Eden, the so-called white man. Alright, a horse in the scriptures rep, uh, represent power. All right, and right now Esau Edom is in the power seat. A servant is a servant is in the power seat. And the princes, the true princes that are supposed to be in the power seat, are walking as servants in the earth. That's why everything is in shambles. That's why society is in shambles. That's why the world is in shambles. It's it's in complete chaos. Because the wrong rulers are in place, and the true rulers are walking around the earth as servants. And it's important to know your history because when you understand where we come from, you understand that there's a greater responsibility that's been placed upon us. You understand that there's a greater calling that we've been given as men, as women of the nation of Israel. And that's something that our enemy doesn't want us to possess, you know, that knowledge. That's why it's a whole, it's a whole uproar right now with these celebrities. You know who the Lord is using to, to uh, promote the truth on these larger platforms. Because now the true history is coming out. All right, now Jake is starting to ask questions. You know, now, <clears throat> now, you know, the true history of, of who the so-called white man is and who we are as a people is really starting to come out. That covering cast is being lifted up. The darkness is being, is, is being overtaken. And truth is flourishing here in these latter days. Now these the, these servants, all right, these princes who are walking as servants, they ain't just going for the go get down no more. You know, Jake ain't just going for anything anymore. They bucking against the system. Well, let's keep playing this video. You knew history. <clears throat> the only reason they don't feel like they they don't care is because they feel like they ain't a part of shit. If you have a family or if you knew history, they go along with it. I say, I, I always felt like. Nah, keep going. No, nah, for sure. Like, if you if you don't know the history to it, you lost. The history make you whole, bro. I used to, um. I don't know. I'm That's a fact. All right, that history will make you whole. What's the scripture saying, Galatians? <clears throat> I mean, uh, John. Let's see, let's get it. This is John 8 and 32. It says, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. All right. And this truth essentially has unlocked the mental and spiritual chains, the mental and spiritual yokes 
that have been upon our people for many generations now. And in essence, this truth has made us whole. We were broken in the world. You know, that's why you had that feeling in the world like, you know, you just, it was just always something. It had to be something else. You know, you knew it was, it, it got to be more to life than this. Or it got to be, Christian, it, it, just, it just can't be it. Some brothers sought to fill that void through the drink. Some brothers sought to fill that void through the smoke or through other religions or whatever it may be. But ultimately, you know, that void couldn't be filled. And we see now that the only thing that can fill that void is this truth. Because everything else <clears throat> is garbage compared to this truth. This truth offers us answers. This truth gives us perspective. It gives us a sense of belonging. It gives us a purpose. Unlike everything else that's been promoted here in this world. That's why it says, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And we've been set free from the bondage of this world. The bondage of this world, we've been set free from it. You know, let's get this. Maybe I was I was different from people around me, but I wasn't that different because I was just sitting thinking like, what? How the hell are we here? Like we, it ain't just slavery. We ain't just, what what else? What else is there to us? Because it was depressing. And believe it or not, man, this is a common question that a lot of Israelites ask themselves but are too afraid to address, you know, but are too afraid to actually explore and, and, and to seek answers answers to. A lot of Israelites question, man, it gotta be, we gotta be more than just slaves. Our history gotta be more than just slaves. You know, we, we this just can't be it. But through the constant beating down, you know, the constant mental and spiritual and physical beat down that our people have been put through, they've adapted this this defeat, defeated mentality. You know, this this uh, the house nigga mentality to where they lay down with any get down. They, they just lay down. The questions arise, but it, it, it quells over quickly because. They don't want to fuck up their present state or they don't want to think too deep on it because thinking too deep on it is going to actually lead them to the right answers. And a lot of Jakes are comfortable in their in their ignorance. <laughs> they live in a state of bliss in their ignorance. But now the Lord is causing Jake to be roused up. Now those questions that Jake has, has been asking themselves internally for many for many years is they're now starting to seek answers for it. And now those answers are starting to be, uh, I mean, they're starting to seek, yeah, yeah, they're starting to seek answers. And now those questions are starting to be answered through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And as these questions that Jake is get, has in their mind are getting answered through the spirit, the more the elect is being sealed and the more the prophecies are right, the end time prophecies are playing out. There's a very important shift in the earth that's going on right now. All right, and we're living in the midst of it. The Lord is rousing up our people, man. The Lord is rousing up uh, the, the spirit of our people and putting back in us that, that vigor, that fire. <laughs> this is a beautiful thing. Seeing like friends getting shot and all that stuff, like people dying, they're just not having like a legacy or something great mm. to attach yourself to. Something, and I feel like this, this billions of kids out there. You heard it right. Friends getting shot and all that stuff, like people dying, they're just not having like a legacy or something great mm. to attach yourself to. So and that's how people feel. You know, and the scriptures let us know we have the greatest legacy. All right? We have the greatest legacy. We can, we're the only nation that can boast in having a God. <laughs> a true living power. 
All right, matter of fact, let's get that first. We got a couple of them. Let's get Joel, chapter 2 and 27. It reads, And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. All right, the Lord is, a, is the God of the Israelites and none else. And that's a legacy that only we can attach ourselves to, that only we can resonate with, not these other nations. All right, let's get this in Amos chapter 3. In verse 2, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. All right, the Lord has only, only known our nation. All right. And his counsel has he only revealed unto us. Let me see. <clears throat> Psalms 147 and uh, verse 19 he says he showeth his word unto Jacob his statutes and his judgments unto Israel he have not dealt so with any nation and as for his judgments they have not known them praise ye the Lord all right, the Lord showed us his counsel. All right, the counsel of the heavens has only been revealed to our nation. He have not dealt so with any other nation. And as for the judgments of the Lord, they haven't known him. Not like we've known him. That's why we're being punished in the manner that we're being punished. All right. But pretty soon, the Lord is going to turn back this captivity. All right. He's going to turn back this captivity and... and Give us the promises that he made with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is the time that we're coming into, and this is why the enemy is so afraid. Because just as sure as we can see that the Lord is, is, is stirring up a spirit in the earth all right, for us to be restored. Just like as sure as we can see the Lord turning back our captivity, our enemies can see it as well. Our enemies can see it as well. That's why it's such a huge push right now to demonize those who come with any inkling of truth. Whether it be words or whether it be a picture. These devils are on a full blown campaign to stop any forms of truth from spreading to the masses. And that's why the feminine of the word is, is, is speedily approaching. All right, because pretty soon they're going to realize, man, there ain't nothing they can do All right, about this word being preached, this word getting out there, and, and, unless they shut off the internet. Because if they keep taking brothers' channels down, it's, it's Odyssey, it's, it's Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, brothers are everywhere. This word is everywhere. It can't be stopped. It can't be slowed down because it's everywhere. Videos going out every week, every day. Brothers are preaching on the highways and byways every week through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Ain't nothing they can do at this point from this word getting out. And at this point, this word has reached the four corners of the earth. And we know pursuing the, uh, Matthew the 24th chapter, all right, that the end is soon at hand. <laughs> this is very beautiful times we're living in, man, for real. Um, and I feel like this is... <laughs> Billions of kids out there yeah. feel the same way. They feel like I don't have nothing great to attach myself to. Um, to say that I was part of that, or or um. Yeah, let's get this in uh, Deuteronomy chapter four. <clears throat> Matter of fact, let's get seven and then we'll get four. This is Deuteronomy seven and six. For thou art in the holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people of the above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right. Let's get this in Deuteronomy 4 verse 6. It's 5. It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power commanded me that you should do so in the land whether you go to possess it. 
Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. We shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. And this is the legacy that only we are able to attach ourselves with. No other nation can say that they received the, the, uh, the blueprint or the standard uh, of the heavens. No other nation can claim that. No other nation can claim Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Save our nation, the nation of Israel, the support of the Latinos and the American Indians. That's a legacy that we can attach ourselves to and only we can attach ourselves to. And it's a rich legacy. Whether you have the ears to hear or not, all right, we were there when we made this covenant, when we made this agreement. We how about Shemia was on Mount Sinai? We were there when we said, We said, Yeah, all the words of the Lord we will do. We were there, because the scriptures speak about reincarnation. You know, we get reincarnated every third and fourth generation, all right, in our, in our respective lot. Right, we come back. If you are a man, you come back a man. All right, you don't come back a woman or a butterfly or no garbage like that. All right, you come back in your respective tribe. All right, every third and fourth generation. But um, <coughs> let's keep going. I got the same blood as you know what I mean. Like not having that and just feeling like you know you go to school they say oh yeah y'all was butt naked in africa and we snatched y'all up brought y'all over here yeah. 400 years we said yeah y'all yeah, niggas be free yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah there's nothing to, to take pride in and you want to belong to something and it wasn't so so i like started studying religions exactly and finding a connection with myself and some of the people the figures that i've heard about forever but now no one thinking in my mind oh they're black they're like me. Yeah. What? Can David might have looked like me or such and such or something? You know what I mean? I feel you. That gave me a sense of pride that made me hold my head high and make better decisions. Cause I felt like, nah, there's greatness in me. I mean, I can I can be something great because I know I come from it. A lot of these kids, they just looking for something to belong to. They don't even have like proper family. And the cold part is, we already are great. We already are great. We don't have to try to be something great at all. We already are great. And the office that the Lord has called us in here in these other days is the greatest office that there is on the planet Earth today. To be a prophet of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to be uh a soldier for Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to stand for the Lord against the workers of iniquity to carry this testimony that's the greatest office that is the, that it don't get no greater than this on this side of earth until the Lord move us to the next level of faith all right and start endowing brothers with spiritual power and then we move on to the next level of faith and receive those new bodies and then we move on to the next level of faith and we receive the kingdom and keep leveling up from there. It's only going to get greater and greater from here. But we already are great through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's the message that that the, the the Lord's men have been trying to get you to understand. We are great, and the office that the Lord has called us into is the greatest office that you can ever receive on the side of life. That's why we should abound in it. That's why we should reverence it. You know? Let's keep playing. You know what I mean? Because he's going to fuck shit. Da, 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 da. Ain't that close to see him in the street. Walk around. Like they just looking for something to connect to that has some sort of, sort of uh, notoriety. Okay. And it's important to take our history prior to slavery. You know, that's another thing, too. That's where a lot of yeah. connections are. Yes, yeah. sir. Being great, you know. Yeah. You can, man, so you, so you can be running around in these. Well, that's all that's you know Jake going off man but he said not know yeah you that you come from man samusa you you know what i'm saying not knowing the the greatness within yourself all right, all right. So, speaking of that i would like to 
That's a common question. Um, on your chest. It's made it tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you want to watch the rest of it, you can. You see where it's from. But uh, nevertheless, man, you know, I just wanted to touch on this point, you know, of, of knowing the history, understanding who you are, and understanding, you know, your purpose. All right? Understanding. Because once you understand the history, you know, once you understand who you are, all right, you understand your purpose, and this is our purpose right here. If you were seeking to why we were born on this uh, on this side of on this side of life, you know what we're supposed to live for. This is it. This is Ecclesiastes twelve and verse thirteen. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the heavenly Father and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. This is our duty. This is our purpose. To fear you, how about Shimei was shy. And to keep his commandments, to do what he said to do. And a huge part of what the Lord said to do here in these latter days is feed his sheep. It's the whole fast. To study, to reprove, to rebuke, to exhort. To be brotherly, to do the first to do the first works. This is our purpose in the earth. All right, and this is why it's important to understand the history, who you are. All right, find out who you are. This is who you are. You're an Israelite. And with that comes great responsibility. With that comes great um, capabilities. But as we know, only one third of the nation of Israel is going to assume those, uh, exercise those capabilities. You know, and, and take on those responsibilities through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, we're counted the elect, you know, that number. All right. But nevertheless, that's all I had to say tonight. You know, Lord wants to satisfy unto you elect. All right. It's important to understand the history. All right. Because in under, understanding the history, like our elders and apostles say all the time, all right, you're better able to understand the mystery. All right. Of what happened to our people. Why we're in this present state that we're in today. And how we're going to get out of it. All the answers are laid out in the scriptures. It's just a matter. Of getting into it at this point. Hey, but Shalom.